Hi, I'm Reb Myron. I'm a minister through Pathways of Light, and I've been a Course in Miracles student for 40 years. I've, um, I'm going through the lessons this year as I've done in the past, asking Jesus to clarify for me what I'm reading, and then I'm writing from that clarity, and that's what I'm sharing with you today. So let's get started. We're looking at lesson 295. The Holy Spirit looks through me today. Christ asked that he may use my eyes today and thus redeem the world. He asked this gift that he may offer peace of mind to me and take away all terror and all pain. And as they are removed from me, the dreams that seem to settle on the world are gone. Redemption must be won. As I am saved, the world is saved with me. For all of us must be redeemed together. Fear appears in many different forms, but love is one. My Father, Christ has asked a gift of me, and one I give that is to be given me. Help me use the eyes of Christ today, and thus allow the Holy Spirit's love to bless all things which I may look upon, that his forgiving love may rest on me. As Christ looks through my eyes, I see the world transformed. If I typically see a difficult person with my eyes, seeing them with Christ, all of that is gone. I now see them as love, as an aspect of the true self working its way through a lesson. I feel connected to this one and supportive of his efforts. Someone I love is going through a difficult time. I found myself worrying about him, but when I looked at Christ, I knew there was nothing to worry about. I knew I could trust him to learn what he could from this lesson. I felt happy for him that he had this opportunity. As the fear and guilt thoughts dissipate from my mind, they dissipate from the world. Sometimes I'm aware of the global effects of moving from fear to love. Often I'm not. But I never doubt that it's happening. The love that is in me extends miraculously to all parts of the mind. Love heals us all no matter where in the mind it originates. Fear cannot exist where there is love, and it doesn't matter what form fear takes. It is undone by love. There is no order of difficulty in miracles. I read this lesson early this morning and asked for the gift of Christ's vision. It's shown up for me and through me and blessed everyone as it did. The ego mind is not interested in peace and healing. And so it is posed, it has posed um, objections from time to time. I simply pause long enough to look with the Holy Spirit at the thought that represented fear and guilt. It truly is miraculous the way these thoughts simply dissolve in the light of love. I am so grateful. One function is always served, our function is always served through forgiveness. I want my body to be used for the benefit of the sonship. I do this by allowing the Holy Spirit to use it in whatever way is needed at any particular time. The effect of this for me is that I am closer to awakening and my life is happier and more peaceful now. I don't do this perfectly, but I am practicing it all the time so that it becomes more perfect. How do I know that I'm allowing the Christ to use my eyes today? If everyone I see is so innocent and so beautiful that I want to fall to my knees before them, then I know the Christ is looking through my eyes. Here's something from my past journal. This happened years ago and made a permanent impact on my mind. I was at a store one day and there was a woman standing at the counter. Her body was badly deformed. When I was young, I had been repelled by this kind of thing and would turn away. As I grew older, I was still repelled, but ashamed of my feelings and would cover them over with pity. As I matured spiritually, I began to learn that neither response was appropriate, but that was just learning, the collection of new ideas. How I felt had not really changed and so I was conflicted between how I felt and how I thought I should feel. I would still turn away and still feel guilty. The only difference is that I was now confused about my feelings. 
This time when I saw the woman, I felt that sense of confusion, but beneath it was something else, something new. However, it was not clear, but it was right there like a word on the tip of your tongue that I could not quite grasp. So I showed my confused thoughts to the Holy Spirit. I asked him how to see past what the body's eyes show me. Immediately, this beautiful, perfect thought came into my mind. The soul that animates this body looks exactly like your soul. Oh, my dear God, thank you for that. I had spent a lifetime imprisoning myself within the ego, looking out of the body's eyes and seeing only an illusion. I had tried to see differently using the body's eyes, and that had left me only confused and frustrated. I still saw a separate being different than me, whose goals were different than mine. In that one instant, with this new thought, I saw truly for the first time and knew this woman as myself. I knew the body I thought of as myself was only a tool, a communication device, something useful for that purpose only. I'd heard those words before, but this was the first time their meaning had come alive for me. As I looked at that woman's body, I saw that the mind chose a different communication device to learn specific lessons. It was not a sad or frightful thing that had happened to her. It was a soul choice to learn in a particular way, and so it was perfect for that soul's lifetime desire. She was not deformed, the body was deformed. Deformity was not bad, only useful for time. It did not just happen, it was a choice. And as all of this fell into place within my mind, the judgment born of fear that had prompted past reactions fell away and my vision cleared. I didn't see an unlucky or cursed woman, but another part of myself having an experience. In that holy instant, I saw no separation and wanted no separation. Thank you so much for joining me in this lesson. I, If you found it helpful, then please like it. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. And thank you so much for showing up every day to share these lessons with me. I'll be back tomorrow with another one.